In his latest video, KSI dropped a title that screams clickbait. Everybody hates us right now. But what unfolds in the video is less of a reflection on genuine feedback and more of an over-the-top rant where KSI yet again struggles with handling criticism. So what's the deal this time? Well, it all stems from a Twitter comment made by Dan TDM, who called out Lunchly's marketing strategies for promoting unhealthy food as a healthy alternative for kids. What do you have to say? What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast have all been involved in promoting this brand, which understandably has raised eyebrows, given the background of two of these individuals. Instead of taking this criticism in stride, KSI goes into full defense mode, targeting not just Dan TDM, but other creators like Ryan Trahan and Face Rug as well. Okay, you own Lunchly, so it's not the same. Okay, cool. Where was the same energy when Ryan Trahan really sweet? Where was the same energy when Face Rug really sweet? He attempts to redirect the backlash by suggesting that they too promote unhealthy snacks to their younger audience thus deflecting the real issue at hand. He skims through a few Reddit posts where people critique him, but ultimately it feels like he's missing the point entirely. Now, to be clear, yes, many creators promote their own food brands. However, there's a key distinction that KSI seems to overlook. These YouTubers, for the most part, aren't falsely advertising their products as something they're not. But in the case of Lunchly, KSI and his co-promoters are pushing a product that positions itself as a healthy alternative, which in reality is just a repackaged Lunchable. The marketing here is deceptive, claiming to fulfill the daily dietary needs of young growing children, a claim that's far from true. Let's break it down. KSI's biggest mistake here is his refusal to acknowledge the root of the criticism. The backlash isn't because he's promoting food, it's because the way Lunchly is advertised gives parents and kids the false sense that they're getting something nutritionally beneficial when in fact they're not. KSI, Logan, and Mr. Beast are powerful influencers, and with that power comes responsibility. Young viewers look up to them, and when they push products claiming to be healthy, that message sticks. So why doesn't KSI seem to get it? Well, in his video, he goes on a rant about how everyone is doing it, which is a flawed defense. Sure, many YouTubers promote snacks or food brands, but most don't cross the line into misleading advertising. KSI's inability to differentiate between harmless promotions and deceptive marketing is the crux of the problem. It's not just about the product itself, it's about the responsibility that comes with advertising to a young audience. When the audience is primarily kids, pushing something under the guise of health carries far more weight. Unfortunately, KSI's thick-headed response suggests he either doesn't care or simply can't see beyond his own ego. In conclusion, while it's fine for creators to explore business ventures and promote products, transparency is key. KSI and the team behind Lunchly have failed to provide that, and instead of addressing the criticism head-on, KSI has only dug himself deeper by deflecting blame and dragging other creators into the conversation. It's time for KSI to take a step back, rethink his approach, and most importantly, recognize the impact his actions have on his impressionable audience. As one of YouTube's biggest names, he should be setting a better example. Maybe, just maybe, it's time for him to actually listen to the criticism rather than deflect it.